Westgate, Las Vegas. I'm not sure what took me so long to get here. This is one of the nicest hotels on this end of the strip. The casino is cool and dark and classy. The restaurants are great. There's an entire row of them and the rooms. The rooms are a tremendous value. Overall, this property looks really nice and I'm really excited to be here. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, Westgate, Las Vegas. All right, let's do this thing. Let's jump into the action. I'm going to do something that I've never done before to start one of my Vegas videos, and that is go down to the sports book. Now, before you click away and tell me that you don't like sports, sports books, sports betting, or gambling in general, that's cool, I get it. You are going to want to see this thing. This thing is gorgeous. If Circa has the largest sports book in the world, this has to be right up there. What I am most interested in, however, are the restaurants inside the sports book. Yes, the sports book has restaurants inside it. That's where I'm headed. I can't wait to check them out. I do have to touch on the sports book because it is not just a sports book. It is a super book. Um, it is my favorite sports book in Vegas. You have not seen a lot of sports books on the channel because it's from a different life of mine. I don't really do them anymore. I tend to focus on other stuff. But if I did have a favorite sports book in Vegas, it would absolutely be the super book here at Westgate. Yes, Circus is the largest. It's the coolest. It's double decker. It's beautiful, but it's not comfortable at least in my opinion the one here is dark it's comfy it feels like you're in a stadium or arena um, there are two huge bars there and of course you have restaurants on site so if i were to hang out at a sports book in vegas it would absolutely be here at westgate so it's time to get this day started and normally i would start it with food but this is kind of a different trip a different stay so i'm going to switch things up a little bit i'm going to walk you through this beautiful casino and show you how gorgeous it is i'm going to find a high stakes slot room going to press my luck and then i'll figure out what to do after that Okay, great news. I am never playing a Wheel of Fortune slot machine ever again. I was already sworn off them. You know my struggles with the Wheel of Fortune slots, but I thought this one would be different. It was a double diamond Wheel of Fortune slot machine. I was feeling it, but it wasn't feeling me. I lost my money faster than I've ever lost money before. That $50 was gone in about 45 seconds. I did like the high stakes slot room. It was an entire room. Uh, there were table games as well. There was a seating area. It was cool, it was dark, it was loungy. And it had one thing that I've never seen before, or at least paid attention to. It had a high stakes craps table. Okay, it's my last evening here at Westgate. Before I tell you where I'm going, I have to tell you where I've gone. I have quite the update for you. I'm going to work in reverse chronological order. I just finished up at International Bar. This hotel originally was an international hotel. Maybe that's why that bar is called the International Bar. Perhaps it pays homage. I had three drinks. I had an off-menu drink called the Pearl Crush. That was a slice of Punta Cana here in Vegas during the winter. Then I had two seasonal drinks. Uh, the first was a Three Wise Men, and the Three Wise Men were Jim Beam, Johnny Walker, 
and Jack Daniels. Yes, there was a shot of each one of those in that drink. That thing was straight up rocket fuel. I was spitting flames after drinking that, but by far my favorite drink was the Vegas Snowman. It was Malibu rum, some coconut milk, uh, a few other things, and it was topped, of course, with a Vegas Snowman, a marshmallow. I really enjoyed my time there. Um, definitely a great place to hang out. It's right on the casino floor. You can have a few great drinks and hang out and keep yourself close to the action. Before International Bar, I walked around the property a little bit more. There are some things to do here, kinda. Um, there is a little bit of shopping. You know, there is a really large Vegas gift shop. Uh, there is a tattoo shop. And then there is also an arcade. So mom and dad can get matching tattoos while the kids wait and play arcade games. Before that, earlier today, I had breakfast downstairs at the Market Cafe. Uh, this thing is one of my favorite Market Cafes in all of Vegas. The only other one that comes close or is better is the one over at Cromwell. I think that's called Eat Well. This is amazing. It's open 24-7. I had a legendary Vegas breakfast. I had a calzone. Yes, I had a calzone for breakfast. And then I had a corned beef Reuben for breakfast. I know. Uh, and then I had a ham, egg, and cheese sandwich. That was definitely the best of the three. Before breakfast, I went to the gym. Yes, I had quite the productive day today. Uh, the gym is situated inside the spa and salon, and that is located in a separate part of the property. It's towards the pool. I like how it's separated. Those going to the spa or the salon can have a little added privacy when they're going over there. And then last night, uh, I planned on going to Edge Steakhouse. It looked unbelievable. Uh, the only problem is that it was closed for renovations. Luckily, uh, Fresco, the Italian place right next door, was open. This place was really cool. It was distinct from all of the other Vegas Italian places that I've been to. It had its own personality. It was old world. It was classy. It was still kind of modern and it had a great theme. There were Vespa scooters out front and the Italian theme was very evident all the way through. Uh, this place is an unreal value. Okay, I had the meatballs. There were three of them and each one was the size of a tennis ball. $15. I had that and the burrata for like $31 and I was stuffed. If you're looking to eat at a really cool Italian place that's not gonna break the bank, you have to check out Fresco. All right, I just finished up dinner at Riki Tiki, which is possibly the best sushi place in Vegas. You might be saying, James, what about Ortoro at Mirage? I thought that was the best. Or what about Mizumi? Did you have that epic dinner there? And didn't you just eat at the Orleans, like kind of that more approachable place, and you said that is in a ways better than Nobu? And I would say yes, yes, and yes, but did you see that place? Did you see how beautiful it was? How cool it was with the lighting and the decor and the waterfalls, it was multi-level. That place was unbelievable. Uh, but the food, the food was fantastic. Those specialty rolls were amazing. But get this, that was all you can eat sushi for $33. That's right, $33 all you can eat out the door. Unlimited appetizers, unlimited sushi rolls. You can't afford not to. I think in terms of the value that you get, the food quality and this, the ambiance and the atmosphere and plus it's in a really nice hotel. Yeah, in some ways. That might be the best sushi in Las Vegas. Unbelievable, all you can eat for $33. All right, I'm gonna finish up this video tonight. I have an early flight tomorrow. Typically I wrap up in the morning, but I'm gonna wrap up tonight. Westgate is impressive. It's very impressive. If you looked at the outside of it, it doesn't look like much. It looks a little older. You know, uh, it doesn't really have a lot of moxie. It doesn't really have a lot of edge or a lot of style. But when you walk into this place, um, your jaw may drop a little bit. There's marble everywhere. Uh, the place is just luxurious and opulent. The crystal chandeliers, the beautiful lobby. This is a gorgeous property. This room is a fantastic value. I will reveal what I paid in my upcoming cost video. But for what I paid and what I got in terms of the room size and how good it was for what I paid, I think this property is the epitome of budget luxury. 
So before I rate this hotel, I want to talk about who this hotel is for. This hotel is very flexible. It has a lot of dexterity. Uh, I think a lot of people could enjoy it. You know, it is uh, traditionally and classically a timeshare. So it is going to attract a timeshare type crowd, but timeshare type crowds can be diverse. They can be couples, they can be families, they can be young, they can be old. Some groups choose to come here. This hotel is very appealing to a wide audience. There's really only one type of segment that's not gonna enjoy it here, and I'd say that is someone looking for a lot of energy, a lot of nightlife, and a lot of entertainment. There really aren't any bars besides the casino bars, no lounges, uh, there is a Barry Manilow show, but in case you don't find Barry Manilow to be exciting or energetic, uh, there really isn't a lot to do here on site. I would say the Westgate is an intermediary. It is an intersection of a condo hotel, like Alara and Vidara, and then a full-scale casino property, you know, kind of like uh, a Bellagio, Palazzo, or something like that. If you are looking for a slimmed down version, a light version of one of those full-size properties, you really have to consider the property here. So no matter which way you look at it, either a light version of a full-size property or a really enriched version of a condo hotel, it really fits the middle, and I think there is a segment there. I think there are a lot of people looking for more uh, from a Vidara or a Lara, or maybe a little bit less from a full-size casino. This fits in very nicely in the middle. The north end of the strip, which is my favorite part of it, I'm talking Wynn, Encore, Palazzo Venetian, and now Resort World, is only a mile away. So if you do want to stay kind of close to those casino properties, but maybe don't want to break the bank, I think this would be a wonderful place to flop for your stay. Overall, I was shocked at how luxurious the overall property was and how beautiful the casino was. And okay, the rooms might be four star, but what you pay for what you get is really quite unbelievable. After taking everything into account, I would rate this property a two, which is a really solid score for me. Remember, I only stay at the best hotels. If a luxurious room isn't the most important thing to you, you just want a solid four and a half, five star property with all the features you're gonna find usually at a main casino, you really have to consider Westgate Las Vegas. I quite enjoyed my time here and I will absolutely be back to this property. On the next visit, I'll try to come back in the summer. I wanna check out the pool and definitely check out more of the restaurants that I missed on this trip.